show the solo, but that's something like how it goes. Um, so yeah, Molly Crew Danger, Mike RockingGuitarRhythms.com by the way. Um, I was talking to Les McSun today. He had posted something on Facebook about you know he woke up with uh, Bastard from Shout at the Devil in his head, and it got me thinking back, you know, the whole memory lane thing. And I was, I was like, I pulled up the full album of Shout at the Devil just to kind of refresh my memory on the songs because it had been a while. And the song Danger just hit me, man. This is such a cool, like, passionate, great, I think, epic song. Like, every musician in there, the, the drum fills Tommy's doing on the intro, mix epic, cool guitar riffs. Um, Nikki's doing some cool stuff in there. And uh, Vince, man, there's some parts in there where you can tell he's it's just, like, hitting him like the passionate thing and he's got that rasp going on in those higher parts so anyways this is for you guys I don't know if anyone has requested this so you know I went ahead and picked it uh, Motley is the number one requested band on this channel and um, you know surprised no one requested this but you know I kinda forgot about this song myself tune flat it's double flat not a half step but a do double flat which means this top string is no longer an E, it's a D. Um, I've got it on the clean channel with some chorusing, reverb, a little bit of delay. We're starting with D minor, and it's one, three, two. From the bottom up, I would use these fingers, and you'll see why in a second. So when we start this, go string number wise, it's string six, string one. So I'm going to call out, sometimes I call the numeric name, sometimes the alphabetical name, but four, three, one. Hit the string one again, but go open, leave everything down, bring it right back down to the first fret, and then hit string two and three. So that's the first part. The next one, this is D minor slash C. It's just a D minor with the C bass. Take your third finger, go to 3A. You can get rid of the middle if you want, because we're not going to use it. Your, your call. And go... We're going to go A, D... So it's an open D. First fret E, open E, first fret E, and then pick the B3 and the open G. So that one's. The next one is a G slash B. It's a G chord with a B on the root. 2A, middle finger, 3B third, 3E with your pinky. And you want to use this fingering. That's why I'm really specifying it here. Go A, G, B, E. We move your pinky, go to 1E, pick that, uh, 3B, and open G. So we have. Then go 1 open open on the A, D, G. Same thing, middle finger, 2nd fret on the A though, and go A, D, G, B. So it's. So you got that rest in there. And then you start it over. Now we're going to cut out of this one the second time. End on the F or this first fret E. Go to distortion. And slide from fret 17 on the A string. Don't hang out on it, it's just your start note. Get to over fret 1 and then pick. So we have. Then the second fret. And then 3rd fret and 6th fret, so... And then you're back to the intro. Anyways, that's going to go four times at the end of the fourth one. You do the same as you did last time. So, this will lead into 2G, 3B, open D. Three times down, staccato, choppy. And then do it again, followed by an open D and then hit the chord again. So it's... 
Then from there, it's got that cashmere Zeppelin vibe. You're gonna go uh, middle finger 3G, leave this on 3B, and do the exact same rhythm. But on your change up, go to the 4G and keep that 3B down. All right, so open 4-3. So we'll have. But when you do change to that 4-3, so we have, let me play it again, because you got to cut out part of it. Um, da, 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 da. So we have four hits on it, and then we'll go. So 3A, hammer to 5. Back to 3A, 5A. 2, 3, 2 on the D. And then 5, 3A. So it's. And then you start it back over on the D. So. Then the chorus comes in. And you know, I was looking, I don't, I didn't see anything live. Like, I don't know that Motley has ever done Danger live. I asked Mick Sun less. He said, I don't think they have either. So, if it's out there, it's not showing up. Be cool if they did though, huh? Now, the chorus, it's kind of got kind of a kiss feel. 3-5 AD. You're gonna slide to 5-7, strum it. Go back to 3-5, back to 5-7 twice. So. And then go 3-5-6 on the E. 3-A. Oops. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, why am I forgetting that? Dang it, I just had it. I'm totally brain farting, man. Yeah. One, three, I think that's wrong too. What the heck, man? And I'm so not gonna start this lesson over just because of that part. Maybe it'll come to me. Let's just sit for a second. Let's just think about it. Let's just think about it. There it is. Pretty sure that's it. Um, you'll go 1A, open A, hammer one, pull one, and then 1E. Either a one on the end or open on the end. I think it's a one. And then start it over from the power chord slide. And then three, five, six, five on the E. At following the power chord. So the power chord part's exactly the same. That's consistent, and you got these little filler riffs at the end. Then you go back to the first one we did that I was. Forget it. And then back to the second one we did with a slightly altered ending watch. You'll add a 3-5 on the E and slide it. That's going to take you right back into this part. The Oops. Wrong finger, that's why. basically go through all that stuff. Uh. All right, so 
Anyways, there you go with Danger. Vince Thrill, if you're watching this one, um, I posted on Facebook that I was going to probably do this one for a surprise for you guys, and you mentioned me doing um, another Molly one that there's nothing out there for, but it's kind of a piano song. So I think I'll hook you up, dude. I'll uh, transcribe the piano chords to guitar. Is it You're All I Want? You're All I Need? I don't know. I have it in our Facebook. So yes, I will hook you up on that. Um, I love doing that anyways, taking piano and other instruments, putting them onto guitar. It's fun. It's fun. My email is mike at rockandguitarlessons.com. If you, if you would like to email me for anything, my website is rockandguitarlessons.com, which I hope, by the way, you become a premium member there. And um, a lot of cool stuff happening over there right now. We're really hitting the lesson of the week and focusing on becoming a cleaner guitar player, cutting out the slop element. I'm using lots of examples through that. We've got a couple more weeks of that, and I've been getting a lot of emails from my paid members about some other things that they would, they're would they asking if we could um, target in on. So, of course, yes, we will. There's some free stuff on the site. Be sure to go check that out. Fill out the contact information while you're there. It'll put you on our newsletter, let you know what's going on with RGL. And, um, of course, subscribe to my channel. Share it through all these other social media avenues that are out there nowadays that we didn't have back in the 80s. We just had like Hip Parader Magazine, Circus, they'd put some tabs in there once in a while. And then you'd see Doug Marks putting his like, you know, the Starlicks and uh, I'm forgetting the other name of them now. But yeah, man, boy, times have changed. It's like right here now. Speaking of that, I teach on Skype, guitar and bass, and my wife teaches vocals. And uh, if that's something you're interested in, we could set up a day and a time. Um, same time each week or bi-weekly, however you do it, whatever works for you, 30 or 60 minute lessons. The prices are on my website as well. So while you're there filling out that contact information, go check it out. And I have a tutorial there um, with the price breakdown, how it works, payments are made to my PayPal account, all that. But it's all self-explanatory on my website. And since you're there, you may as well look at my CVT lessons, custom video tablature lessons, very detailed lessons. If you can't hit, you know, don't have time to do the one-on-one -on -one thing on Skype, you could still, still do lessons. So until next time, I'm Mike Gross, jamming some Motley, kings of the 80s, man. Playing some danger for you. And let's do this. And hopefully I won't screw up that part at the end. See you guys. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, I screwed it up already.